What is going on Dapper Squad? It is even with Darius. I thought I would give you guys some videos to upload as well as a quick update on what's been going on and kind of what to expect in the future. I'm going to do my best to make this video not too long, not take too much of your guys' time, just kind of tell you what's going on real quick. But to be frank and to be short, life has been kind of taking a dump on me, throwing me some curveballs. I've been kind of down in the dumps, not feeling too good. Um, as some of you guys know, I was on a softball team with some friends broke my elbow playing softball, went through recovery process, everything went fine with that. That was an ordeal in and of itself. I'm sure you guys were aware of that. But in my final recovery process, going to the hospital, getting out of the sling, this, that, and the third, um, I told the doctor about the hand pain that I was having throughout the recovery, which was unexpected. But we did bonus x-rays on my hand, and it turns out I had an undiscovered fracture on my scaphoid bone the entire time that we did not know and I need, it's displaced, completely cracked in half, hence the pain I was going through. So I need to make a, I need, I need to have surgery. I need to make a small incision, realign it, put a little screw in there and make it so it's casted up and then secure and healed up in that way. So another cast for two months after the surgery. So that was some really bummer news, plus the whole ordeal with my insurance. I had a surgery, surgeon, see everything lined up, already met, consulted everything. But it turned out that surgery, surgery and surgeon was out of my insurance network. So I needed to go through a whole ordeal of going to my uh, main doctor, getting a request for my insurance to meet with the new surgeon, going through that again, getting new x-rays. And then I haven't even gone through fully that yet. That's why I have this and not the surgery yet. And if that wasn't the worst thing with the medical bills and the, the procedure and taking too long, because if I don't get this dealt with at least urgently because we were already six weeks out from when it happened because I went through my whole recovery process and we did not know it was fractured um if we don't get it dealt with accordingly I do I could deal with chronic wrist pain for the entirety of rest of my life so I don't want that so I'm trying to deal with this I'm trying to no matter the bills no matter the money this that and the third I'm trying to get it done with and if that wasn't all or if that wasn't the worst thing um because I'm no longer able to play softball, I consider myself the scorekeeper. I like to support my team because they're my friends and I still go. Um, when I went a couple of Mondays ago, because they're on Monday, um, during the second game, somebody decided to break into like 10 to 15 cars in there. Mine was one of them. I had nothing in there but board games. Didn't even take any of the board games. So there was no reason. So now I'm dealing with the insurance bills as well as getting my windows replaced and, and all that. And so... Uh, I will say I'm kind of late in saying this into the video if you have made it this far I appreciate you guys immensely. I will say I am doing a GoFundMe to help me with my current ex emergency medical bills as well as my car window bills and just to kind of help me put my life on track just because I've been so in the dumps and because life has been throwing me some curveballs lately. And I will make this clear up front. I don't expect or want you guys to feel like you need to donate or give me any of you guys' money. Your guys' time, support, messages, love throughout any any of this ordeal, any time where I felt depressed down in the dumps has been more than enough. But if you guys happen to be in a position where you are able to support me or help me in any way possible, it is much, much appreciated. And the gratitude and the support goes further than you guys could ever know. And I would just love to get back into my normal life, be able to use my hands to the fullest and not have to worry about this anymore, have to get bills. It's it's a whole thing. It's The stress has been killing me. That's why I have not been recording, editing, doing anything. I've been just playing Baldur's Gate, just kind of relaxing. So I hope you guys can understand. You guys are always so patient, always so understanding. And I appreciate that always. I've been getting lots of questions on Discord, lots of questions on Twitter and Instagram DMs and stuff like that. So I thought I would just make this video. Uh, I apologize for the delay without any word or say so. I just needed a breather, needed to take a step back. But anything that I mentioned in this video, like the GoFundMe is going to be linked below. Uh, I should have some videos done. I've been wanting to get back into work this with the brace has made the pain immensely better. Thank the Lord. It's called the thumb spica. It keeps my thumb because the scaphoid bone is the base of the thumb um, stable. So, but editing can be a nuisance. I have my keyboard lifted like almost 90 degrees on something. So I'm able to use this while my thumb is just like stationary. But uh, like I said, I'm going to work through it. I'm going to try to do my best. I appreciate you guys immensely. Thank you so much for checking this video for the update. If you guys happen to support let me know. I'm going to do something where I thank you guys in a Discord or a Patreon post or something. I appreciate you guys immensely. Um, have a great day. Expect more videos. I know Jujutsu Kaisen, the Shibuya incident's coming soon. I know a lot of things. Thank you so much. Have a great day.